Hey guys, what's up? It's Steve. So today we're going to be cooking up some blueberry baby back ribs. Now I'm going to be cooking these up on the Rectech Stampede pellet grill. I want to show you guys how much room this grill has. So I did an unboxing and review video a week ago. You may have seen that. So now we're going to do a live cook and I'm just going to show you how many racks of ribs you can get in this bad boy. Now additionally, I've partnered up with Rectech and those guys are going to be giving away one free Stampede to one lucky person. Now you got to stick around to the end of the video to find out how you can win one. So for now, let's go ahead and get to this rib cook. Okay, so I've got the stampede fired up. It's getting heated up outside. I've got four nice size racks of baby backs here. And then what I'm using today is uh, this is one of Rectex rubs, it's raised front row uh, master blend. It's just a really nice kind of general purpose barbecue rub. I've had it on ribs before, it goes really good. Um, they've got a whole line of rubs. I'll actually put a link in the description if you wanna check it out. So I'm gonna let these sit for uh, just about 30 minutes or so, and then we'll pick up outside at the Stampede. All right guys, so I'm out here at the Stampede. I've got it preheated to 225. So let's go ahead and take a look at how much cooking real estate we've got inside this uh, stampede here and to demonstrate that I'm going to be putting in these racks long ways and again these are some nice big racks and you can see those fit just easily in there just like that. I'm just going to get all these added in here. So you can see here that if I had these pushed together, I would have had room for one more large rack there. Tons of cooking space. Obviously, if you're using a rib rack or maybe one of the second shelves or something in here, you could get even more. So we're gonna get this lid shut. We're gonna let it go for uh, a solid four hours before I'll even check on them. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started on our blueberry barbecue sauce. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through this homemade blueberry barbecue sauce here. Basically, all I do is I kind of start with just a, uh, it's kind of a classic kind of sweet and tangy uh, barbecue sauce, and then I'm just gonna be adding blueberries. So super straightforward. Uh, I'm gonna have the ingredients up on the screen here. You can double this batch if you wanna have, uh, you know, a nice jar left over, if you wanna serve it alongside your ribs. So uh, we've just got some brown sugar and honey and some molasses, ketchup, and then what gives it kind of that, you know, tangy little finish on this sauce is this is red wine vinegar. And then all we're doing on our uh, spices here, we've got gu uh, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, and that's all half teaspoon. And then we've got a cup of blueberries. So all you gotta do is we're gonna put all of this in a blender and blend it up real quick. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just get this blended up now. All right, and that's it. All right, you can see there just that gorgeous color of that sauce now. What you wanna do is just get it in a little saucepan. We're gonna bring it up to a gentle boil and then just reduce it down and let it simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes. All right guys, so this went right at 30 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and kill the heat and you can see how that just got nice and thick there. That's what we're looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool for a sec. We're gonna get it in the fridge to let it just to continue to cool and thicken up. Uh, and then it's gonna be ready uh, to baste our ribs in just a little bit. All right guys, it's been close to about four and a half hours. Uh, just did a little test with the, the toothpick. The tenderness is where I want it. So we're gonna go ahead and get these glazed up with our homemade blueberry barbecue sauce. You see how awesome these ribs are looking. And what I like to do is just to hit these up about 30 minutes uh, before they're ready to be pulled. And the sugars in the sauce are really gonna caramelize up nicely on these ribs. So. I'm gonna go ahead and finish these up and then we'll pick back up in uh, about 30 minutes. All right guys, it's been another 30 minutes. 
These gorgeous looking blueberry baby back ribs are done. That sauce is nice and caramelized now. So we're gonna go ahead and pull these, let them cool for just a little bit. And then we're gonna give them a little taste in the kitchen. All right guys, so I went ahead and cut one of these racks up. You can just see this gorgeous looking smoke ring on here. The sauce just caramelized so well on these. Mm. Let's go ahead and give these a try. All right guys, let's go ahead and give one of these guys a try here. Mm. Man, that flavor with the barbecue sauce, that blueberry barbecue sauce, you can see how the the meat there just uh it didn't fall straight off it still had a little bit of bite to it but it's super tender great smoke ring man these really came out great all right guys thanks so much for checking out that rib cook that was a ton of fun i'm absolutely loving this new stampede grill let's go ahead and talk about how you can win one real quick so I'm gonna have it all laid out in the video description. The first thing is I'm trying to send some love over to RecTech's YouTube channel. So I'm gonna have a link uh, that'll send you over there so you can subscribe to their channel. Uh, they put out a lot of really good content over there. The second thing is I'm gonna have a link that is going to subscribe you to my email list. So uh, email is obviously required and then phone number i've got required as well so i can text or call you uh, to make contact if you're that lucky winner now i'm going to be using randomnumbergenerator.com to pick a, uh, a a random person from that list and so uh, at the end this contest is going to run for two weeks and so at the end of that i will post a picture of that random winner over on facebook uh, lastly, in the comment section of this video, I just want you to let me know that you've done both those things, subscribe to RecTech's channel, sign up for my email list, and then I want you to tell me what would be the very first thing that you would cook if you were to be the, uh, the lucky random winner for this grill. So pretty straightforward. Again, I'll have it laid out in the video description. Uh, good luck to whoever that person's going to be, and I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you again soon.